So this is video number two. I'll take you for a tour of the inside of the house. So approaching the front door, you'll see a grate on the floor just in front of the door. That's for wiping your feet. It's also great for terrorizing kids on Halloween. Right Here's the entry vestibule. Uh, it's basically an airlock. In the closet is the dryer, which is outside of the heated part of the house so it doesn't suck air out. And going through the front door, we enter into the front hall. Those are the stairs going up to the three bedrooms. And then on the right, there's a half bath, uh, also a washing machine, pantry on the right. Now coming into the kitchen, which is really the sort of the heart of the house. It's the center of the house. It's pretty conventional. Uh, there's an electric induction cooktop, microwave convection oven, sink. One thing we don't have is a dishwasher. Over here, you'll see three electronic gizmos on the wall. The top one is the thermostat, which controls the heat. Second one is for the ventilation system. And then the third one's a display for the solar thermal system. I'll get into more detail on those in the next couple of videos. And there's an outdoor patio. And there's Lexi. She loves to lie in the sun. Hey, looking up, you'll notice that the ceiling has been opened up to allow light and air up to the second floor windows. One's for the master bath, one's for the bathroom. And those allow daylighting to get up to those rooms. It also promotes air circulation. Okay, coming around to the dining area, uh, there's bench seating. We can pretty comfortably sit 10 people at that table. There's the bar and the living room. It's not too big, but for us, it's big enough. And then coming around to the back hallway again, We'll go upstairs. Again, there's three bedrooms up here. There's a master bedroom straight ahead, uh, bathroom, full bath in the middle, and then two smaller bedrooms. Notice how much daylight there is in the bathroom here. There's no lights on. That's all just illuminated by light that's reflected up to that window. And here we are, the two smaller bedrooms. They seem bigger because there's a pretty high ceiling. The bookcase and an electric fireplace for auxiliary heat in wintertime, which I'll talk more about in future videos. And that's about it. In the next video, I'll explain some of the thought that went into the design of the house to make it so energy efficient.